Mm-hmm. So if you were a hockey player and we eliminated shooting, we said skating. If you wanted to start your kid off in skating, you wouldn't go to uh, an instructor and say, can you teach my son or daughter how to skate? What you do is you go to a patch of ice, whether that's a public skating thing or a stick and what do they call parrots and tots or whatever, and you 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 try. That's how you start skating. Yeah, they hold the, the chair, rink, they put whatever it is, yeah. right? And it's so funny because that's that seems obvious, right? Yeah. And then there's a certain point where the kid could become teachable when they, you know, or you can do drills where it's skating. But it seems like it seems anyways, and I could be maybe just my miserable old man. But it just seems that people are in such a rush for their younger kids to have a better shot. Would you agree with that? Oh, 100%. Like, it's I almost could. like, okay, they, they, they need a better shot. And it's like, so I said, when you're doing, when you're, uh, uh, when we talk about shooting, the first thing that you have to do is you have to put yourself into, you got to build a foundation. You have to build that foundation. And I don't think it's necessary or even intelligent to ask for a lesson until you've shot. I don't even know what the number of pucks are. Yep. But you'll notice that there's a point where you're starting to shoot the puck hard. Okay. Okay. okay go ahead. Let me let me do a pushback. Yeah. Which I don't even agree with my pushback, but yeah. this is just what someone could yeah, think. Yeah. Sure. Is, no problem. Well, what if they are building the foundation wrong? That's fine. Well, th- yeah, but if I'm if I'm a parent and I say, okay, like, yeah, I want my kid to work on a shot, but if I can get an instructor to like show them a couple things so that they're practicing the right way, yep. wouldn't that be better? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Just yeah. go into that. So, so the problem with that would be you, you, you're you're putting uh, the the technique before, like it'd, it'd be like I always go back to this. Okay, it'd be like telling a baby because everything's a new language. When you're learning a, a physical skill, it's like learning a new language. So if I'm teaching you Spanish, which I can't, yeah. if I did, and if I started off with a joke. Right, I told you a joke in Spanish, and you looked at me like funny. It's like it's not fair to you. You don't even understand yeah. the word. Right. You have to do the very, very, very basics thing, and right. that's reading and whatever, whatever language is. Right? right. So, so when you when you teach athletic movements and the technique, and and I don't care if it's shooting, skating, weightlifting, throwing a ball, because that you can use the same thing for throwing a ball or hitting a ball. Yep. You don't have to teach. You have to take some swings. You have to throw it a whole bunch of times before there's some any work with, yeah. neuro pattern whatsoever. Yeah. So your language, you can't. It's it's not fair. You're teaching them a full language before that you know, you taught them how to say hello. Right. Or or that because I've got a granddaughter now. I can't believe <laughs> it, but I love her to death. And without teaching her, right? It's because this is life. Without teaching her, she's she's turned one last week or two weeks ago. No one taught her like banana. She goes, they learn, they pick it up. So with any sport, you have to do the sport, do the thing before you, before you uh, get, you need instructor. Yeah. And and it is particularly, you're right. It is particularly with shooting because even skating, like skating can get more complicated too, but even skating people know, like you said, go to public skating. And I tell people that all the time, like the kids that have never skated or are just starting to skate. The parents want to come put them on the treadmill, like skating treadmill. I'm like, that yeah. is not, they don't yeah. need to be here and you don't yeah. need to pay for it. That's right. It's like, take them to public skating and yeah. let them figure it out. Yeah. And then once they have something to work with, then yeah. we can work with it. Yeah. Stick handling is the same thing. Yeah. I never, people don't come in here and say, Hey, I really need my kid to work on his stick handling with you. Do you guys do private stick handling lessons? Because they know, go home and stick handle. Yeah. Right. Stick handle around yeah. cones in the driveway. Yeah. Like it's the same thing. Yeah. Shooting's the exact same, you know? Yeah. And it's like, I always, you know, I'm probably beating a dead horse here and I'm sorry. It's okay. But it's just like, you have to really look at it like, like, like the skill building because it needs to make sense to you. It's like, if you say you want to start, you know, being a, a sprinter, want to run fast, you, what, what do you, what would be the first thing you would try to do? Run faster. Run faster. Yeah. Right. You wouldn't go to, you wouldn't do it five times and, and go, geez, I'm just, I'm not faster yet. Or do it for a week and say, I'm not faster. I need to get a, a coach to make me faster. It's like you haven't, you haven't turned on those units yet. Yeah. Right? So you, you, you're going to do that first. Mm-hmm. And then then when you see a base and you see certain things, then you can ask things. Because what a coach will do, if, you, if it was a, if it actual teaching, they'd put you in situations where you didn't understand. Right. Like, my body doesn't do this. I don't understand what you're saying. Right. Right? So if yeah. you take someone that hasn't shot pucks, go back to shooting is they haven't shot thousands of pucks yeah I'm talking thousands yeah like i don't think you need a lesson until you get thousands and thousands 
because what you're going to find is that's the that's the foundation is getting the reps done. Yeah. Because 500 is not a lot, and the thousand is not a lot. Neither is 3,000, but it's some, mm -hmm. and some will give you. Like because your body figures it out, right? Like like I say this with babies, the first time they they eat, they grab the food like the in the most awkward. Look, my granddaughter, I say bite her. If she doesn't go like this, she goes like this, backwards. So like, am I gonna say no, no, turn it, yeah, and wave, no, and don't don't make a fist. Yeah. What are you, an idiot? Yeah, <laughs> like you're frustrating me, man. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe go sideways. Like don't be yeah. like it's not the way you wave, kid. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that's but it's, it's I know it's funny, but yeah. that's exactly what it is when you do something athletic is you're taking them and it's like it's there has to be a progression. Yeah. So yeah, too sure. soon is just confusing and frustrating. And then it's actually now they're thinking too much instead of doing the thing. So the foundation of getting a, 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 a your mind muscle connection in a circuit that can do a thing to a certain degree thousands, thousands of times, then you can start tweaking it. Yeah. I think. I don't think I know that someone that has an interest in having a good shot or an interest in hockey is going to naturally go shoot pucks because it's going to make them better or they do it for fun out of the fun training. If you want to call it training out of shooting the pucks, you go in your own head and you become Alexander Ovechkin or you become this guy. Do you remember shooting pucks? Oh yeah. You dude. were scoring goals for real. Yeah. So you're in your own head and that's, that's what people forget a lot of the times is that that's a real important creative part. Right. And, and you're doing this thing. So it makes it fun. So making it fun will keep you out there longer. Mm -hmm. So that's without someone teaching you. Yeah. Um, now, people that care, like have fun and care, once they start shooting pucks, what happens is, because I remember this as a kid, we shoot shooting pucks because I loved hockey. And then I'd have a, a great shot. And I'm, oh, wow. Like it was exciting. Mm -hmm. I'm talking a little guy. And I wanted to do that over and over again. So your curious mind ask questions how did i do that like it's just it's kind of natural yeah, sure you're asking is. how did i do that and then you try it again try it again try it again so by default by shooting a ton of pucks you're going to get stronger you're going to get better mechanics because you will mm -hmm. it doesn't mean it's perfect uh, but you built that foundation but your the curiosity is going to ask is going to make you dig deeper for questions and oh because if you'd never had a stick in your hands before what end of the stick should you actually shoot from yeah. The heel, the middle, the toe, right? Yeah. So you start figuring little things like that out by osmosis, or I don't know if osmosis, but but you, you start learning it. So after a hundred, you don't do that. You might get a little curious. After a thousand, it's like there's a rhythm and after after you do a whole bunch of them because you love it and stuff, like then you have a foundation. Yeah. Well okay? this goes back to that the play based thing that yeah. I was talking, this is why it's like documented. One of the best ways to teach young kids is through play. Like they have to play a game or do some kind of game because that is what is interesting to them. Playing is interesting. And then from that grows the desire to learn specific things yeah. now, if they're actually interested. Right. But you can't force, you can't force them to want to be taught because they don't even know what this is for. So if I get a, a nine-year-old in here for a shooting lesson, it's like they just want to play the game, man. So it's like, funny you said nine years old because I, I, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to picture what people are, people that are actually listeners, what are they picturing? Like, okay, well, what what is young? Is it like when you're four to five? Yeah, right. Is it when you're six to seven? Mm -hmm. Is it like how long is that period? And I would honestly say that period of learning or building that foundation is a, a very, very, very long time. Like yeah. very long. Mm -hmm. Like I'm talking, if you started hockey at four, three, four, five, or five, six, seven, I'm talking 12, 13 well, years old, 12, yeah. 12, 12, 13 years old before you actually need a lesson or don't need it. I never had one. Yeah. It could be useful. It could be yep. useful where you can tweak things where then that could apply in a game. Yep. Okay. So that's your foundation. Reps, reps, reps. Thousands and thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe, I don't know, whatever, a lot. And... By doing that, you're going to get a better shot, period. It won't be a pro shot because then all the tweaking has to take place. You got to figure shit out. But, and then focus on, so in in your basics, you focus on um, reps and then nothing fancy. Wrist shots, whatever a wrist shot is. There's a different, people call a wrist shot different things. So I'm going to call it a wrist shot, whatever. Yeah. Wrist shots, slap shot, snap shot, backhand. That's that's a lot of shooting because there's four different shots, but it's all whatever. That's a lot. Yep. 
That's why it takes years and years and years oh, to get a to get a good shot as a kid. And this as is.